hello uh, dear students uh, let us uh, continue our discussion on refrigeration and air conditioning so now we are going to enter the third module uh, in the first two modules we have uh, talked about the introduction to uh, our refrigeration system in the first module we discussed uh, how we can consider a uh, ideal refrigeration system we have discussed the carnot cycle then we discussed the air refrigeration system in the uh, first module the second module uh, we discussed the vapor compression refrigeration system and we considered uh, a refrigerator a refrigeration system with uh, a single compressor single uh, heat exchanger single throttling valve and a single uh, evaporator okay but using uh, single stage systems a uh, single stage a single stage system means using only one evaporator using only one compressor using only one heat exchanger and uh, using only one throttling valve such uh, uh, single stage systems are okay as long as the temperature difference between the evaporator side and the condenser side are very low or very small or the, there is no much uh, temperature difference uh, there is no much large uh, temperature difference between the evaporator side and the condenser side okay but in certain applications uh, but in cert, uh, certain uh, practical applications this temperature lift the temperature lift means the uh, evaporator temperature uh, the difference between the evaporator temperature and the uh, condenser temperature can be very high especially uh, due to a requirement of a very low evaporator temperature or due to a, a the requirement of or uh, due to a demand of a very high condensing uh, temperature for example uh, we uh, some uh, some examples where we want a, a where we may need a very low temperature uh, for evaporator can be our uh, frozen food industries or some chemical industries for example in frozen food industries we may require the evaporator to operate at uh, for example minus 40 minus 50 degree celsius etc uh, etc et in some chemical industries or in some fertilizer industries uh, or in some pharmaceutical industries we may need to store the chemicals or the our medicines at a very low temperature for example uh, uh, minus 150 degree celsius or minus uh, 200 degree celsius like that yeah, such very low temperatures uh, may be required to be maintained at uh, the evaporator side okay and uh, some examples for uh, uh, the high temperature sites can be uh, for example the same refrigerator if it is low used as a heat pump we studied about the heat pump in the first module so suppose this system is used as a heat pump we may require uh, it may be required to operate this uh, condenser temperature condenser at a very high temperature so such practical uh, so in such practical cases we may uh, we may have to operate uh, uh, the, con the evaporator at a very low temperature or the condenser at a very high temperature okay so uh, uh, let us see what happens uh, when we are operating the evaporator at a lower and lower temperatures okay so here let us consider a uh, standard vapor compression refrigeration system for one two three four okay so four one two three four is the, the marked uh, cycle it is uh, representing a standard vapor compression refrigeration system four to one is the evaporator process or four to one can be uh, uh, the uh, uh, can be representing the temperature as well as pressure maintained inside the evaporator so suppose uh, we are lowering the evaporator temperature to four dash one dash so here another dotted line the first dotted line uh, below the four the four one line is four dash one dash four dash one dash so four dash one dash is the new uh, uh, evaporator temperature or the evaporator pressure line uh, lower than the uh, standard vapor compression uh, uh, system uh, evaporator temperature four one four dash one dash uh, is the new evaporator temperature but what happens uh, uh, to this uh, uh, evaporator uh, or what happens to the refrigerator system refrigeration system as a whole when we are uh, lowering the temperature of the evaporator so the new evaporator line will be 4 dash 1 dash so we need uh, so that means we need to operate the compressor at a new line 1 dash 2 dash okay so 1 dash 2 dash 
will be the new compressor process so we can see very clearly that is the point 2 is getting shifted towards the right side point 2 dash why it is getting uh, sh uh, why, is, why it is getting shifted to the right side because uh, uh, compared to compared to point 1 compared to point 1 uh, point 1 dash uh, we are the, the uh, evaporator uh, at the exit of the evaporator uh, the the refrigerant is already getting uh, the refrigerant is already getting transformed into uh, saturated vapor condition at a faster rate compared to point one. So we need to um, we need to compress. Uh, we need uh, so at uh, so when we are com when when we are considering the line four dash one dash, which means the compressor which is admitting the uh, refrigerant at one dash, it needs to compress. Uh, the 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 vapor refrigerant at a earlier stage compared to the uh, compressor working at one okay so one dash two dash means we need to uh, do extra effort or we need to do a larger compressor work or we need to exert more amount or more amount of effort to compress this uh, uh, vapor getting formed at one dash to one dash uh, one dash to two dash so uh, the compressor work from the compressor work required to uh, 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 increase the pressure of the refrigerant at one dash towards two dash is higher than the compressor work required to trans uh, to increase the pressure of the refrigerant at one towards two okay so what does that mean uh, uh, h2 dash minus h1 dash so it is very clear from this figure uh, in the this pressure enthalpy diagram h2 dash enthalpy difference between 2 dash and 1 dash h2 dash minus h1 dash will be definitely greater than h2 minus h1 that is written over here and if we are again still lowering the evaporator temperature from uh, 4 dash 1 dash to 4 double dash 1 double dash again the, we will be uh, dealing with a new, entirely new compressor uh, process one double dash two double dash one double dash two double dash again it is very clear that is the uh, 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 the uh, enthalpy difference h2 double dash minus h1 double dash that is the compressor work required for the third case that is the uh, still lower evaporator temperature it will be uh, very much higher than h2 dash minus h1 dash and also it will be very much higher than h2 minus h1 so what does that mean so the compressor work increases okay all of you please listen at uh, uh, play pay attention to this uh, pressure enthalpy diagram the compressor work increases as we are lowering the as we are lowering and lowering the evaporator temperature and that is uh, written over here as the evaporator temperature is getting lowered the refrigeration effect is also lowered how we can see the what was this uh, uh, initial refrigeration effect h1 minus h4 okay so when we are lowering the temperature of the of, of the evaporator from 4 1 to 4 1, 4 dash 1 dash we can see the length of 4 dash 1 dash is less than 4 1 which which means the refrigeration effect is getting lowered uh, it is uh, getting decreased which means uh, when we are if we are in, uh, again further decreasing the uh, or lowering the evaporator temperature from 4 1 to 4 dash 4 double dash 1 double dash so the length of the line 4 double dash 1 double dash is very much lower than the line uh, 4 dash 1 dash and also lower than the line 4 4 1 okay so the refrigeration effect is also also getting lowered followed by increase in the compressor work okay so we need to use multiple stages of refrigeration or multi multi stages of refrigeration it this multi stage refrigeration means it can be multiple compressor or it can be multiple evaporator or uh, another system is called cascade system which we will be learning soon okay so uh, this is the case of a multiple stage of refrigeration so uh, instead of using a single stage uh, system 
where uh, there will be only one evaporator one compressor and uh, one uh, heat exchanger etc uh, instead of using a single compressor for achieving this high uh, 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 high pressure increase uh, instead of using a single compressor in like this case uh, instead of a one single compressor we can use multiple compressors okay so that is the case of multi stage uh, uh, refrigeration systems okay so uh before we uh, move on to the uh, explanation of multi stage uh, refrigeration systems we need to focus on uh, some phenomenon it is called flash gas removal okay and we will be focusing on flash gas removal using flash tank okay so uh, we will be uh, dealing with this uh, idea okay thank you